How's it going, guys? <laughs> that was weird. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to more Katara Shoujo. Um, I'm sorry that this puts uh, really late on being uploaded. Is because I started school and I didn't get to record Katara Shoujo or Pokemon Platinum. Um, previously because I was in a call for most of the day with Brandon and Mitchell, and I didn't really want to leave the call. So, anyways, so in the previous part, I think we just we're barely in act three or two i don't know but anyways so uh and we finally oh god i don't want to say his name but hideki is i'm guessing he's gonna be part of this act for the entire well for the entire act so i want to get over it because i'm so surprised that that's a chick i mean that's a dude <laughs> whoops um okay united nations that sounds weird, but alright, I don't know why, but it feels like he's teasing me. Unfortunately, it works. I don't like being compared to Shizune. You're a lot more like Shizune, but that's to be expected. I mistook you for her little sister, even. If you don't want people to make that mistake, you should dress more appropriately. True, I don't understand. My clothes are perfectly seasonal. What's with the stockings? They are cool. Oh my god, you act like my sister. Eventually, people will start mistaking you for her. I guess my comment hit him harder than I thought. That would explain this, his att this attempt at turning it around. I hate being compared to other people. Shizune doesn't like it when she's compared to others either. <laughs> okay, we've got a smart ass here. He's gonna be smart mouthing us for the whole time. I thought that Hideki was a little more mature than Shizune, but they have the same competitive streak and inclination to provoke people. I wonder if he's like this because of Shizune or if it's the other way around. And neither do you, Rain. Okay, I get it. You shouldn't be so petty. Especially to little kids, Hideki seems to accept this as an acknowledgement of defeat, which is something that I feel like I can't let, it let go. Nevertheless, I'll just have to let it go while I have the chance. Wow, fancy. How is it already nighttime? It was daytime. <laughs> what? It's like, what? <laughs> this picture is not accurate. I can hear Misha's laughter bouncing through the, wall, the halls the moment I step through the door to the house, and I and follow it into what I would guess is the living room. It holds more people than I expected. What the fu- Oh my god! <laughs> That's a lot of people. <laughs> Alright, among them I spot a distinctive and familiar blonde ponytail. I am more confused by why Lily is here than surprised. Shizune seems just as surprised. Lily doesn't look ecstatic about this chance meeting either. Well, because she's blind. <laughs> Thank you, Hisao. Sitting next to Lily is a tall, is a tall and dragonous looking woman with a sharp suit. I like, I like to assume that's her older sister, but I don't want to risk it. I didn't expect that you would arrive so early. At first, I think she's talking to me, but it turns out that she's referring to Shizu. Oh my God, I can't read. Shizune. I don't like think Lily even notices my presence. I've clearly walked in on them mid-conversation and it looks like with her focus on Shizune, she couldn't hear me. I should have rearranged my entire schedule for you. Why does it keep changing to another? <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's just my wallpaper. Shichan says I should have rearranged my schedule just for you. That would have been nice, but I would not expect you to do such a thing. Oh, hi Shichan, you're finally here. Yeah, hello Lily, you fucked up. Oh, his house. <laughs> Fuck. This is quite a surprise. Akira, this is Hisao, a schoolmate. Hisao, this is Akira, my sister. Yo. <laughs> it's just seriously. That's a girl, that's a guy. <laughs> God damn it. She holds up her hand in a brief and quite casual gesture of greeting, so she is the older sister after all. I hope we're not messing up any of your plans, since we're only going to be here for one more day. Lily and I thought she may as well come with me. Akira turns to me like she feels compelled to explain. I'm grateful for that. I suppose my position here would be best described as a baby sister. Sitter. Sister. <laughs> baby sister. <laughs> that makes no sense. Akira ruffles Hideki's hair as he carries on with his pastime of looking displeased. That is demeaning. Really? Maybe I'll change my title once you get a few more years on you. Or at least a few centimeters. That, they make an interesting pair, although Akira looks more like a lawyer than a babysitter. 
I'm still not really sure why both she and Lily are here though. Taking a glance around the room, there are uh, tennis rackets, golf clubs, and even a stack of fishing poles, and tackle boxes secreted here and there. Behind every chair in every corner and under every table, there is some piece of outdoor hobbyist equipment. I pick up one of the fishing rods and play with it. This is a nice house. Shizune, it looks like your dad has a lot of hobbies. For a moment, I forget to sign what I say, but Misha's already in the process of interpreting what I said for her. I'm still a little impressed at how automatic interpret interpreting for is for Misha. Do you fish? No, I don't know how. I kinda want to learn as I heard it's relaxing. There is a river only a short drive away. My whole family knows how to fish. If you would if you want, we could go there sometime. You and Hideki can fish? I didn't expect people your age to know considering it's always seemed like a hobby for old men. Oh boy, we're going old. You know, Lily is a great at cooking if we had some fresh fish. It's not hard to follow Akira's train of thought. I still can't believe it's freaking nighttime in this picture and then beforehand it was daytime. What how? <laughs> How? <laughs> if you want to eat fish, we could go to the store. Lily's voice literally then I man I can't eat because of school brain farting me every single goddamn time. Lily's voice sounds slightly more authoritative than usual. She really doesn't seem to share her sister's enthusiasm for the idea. Oh boy. It's more fun to go fishing. We could even make it like a game and try to see who catches the biggest God damn it! It would be exciting, right? Yeah, Hitchan, what do you think? It sounds more fun, doesn't it? Yeah, it's definitely it definitely could be. Sounds like a plan. I don't know how to fish either, so now's it as uh, now's that Oh my god. Now's 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 as good a time as any to learn. God damn it. <laughs> her eyes shifts her eyes shift towards Lily, who remains unmoved. This sours Akira smile off bed. And makes me wonder why Lily's being so obst obstinate about this. I don't think we have enough fishing equipment for everyone. We can take turns, it'll be a team battle. Fuck. What is she saying? We can take turns, she also wants to make it a contest. Come on Lily, as we may as well make the most of it. So is this going to be the a competition? Competition? Competition! Oh my god. To see who can catch the biggest fish or the most? It looks like the older sister understands better, as always. Ah, uh, Sichan says that she supposes, supposes, Lily would ref prefer to go to the store, right? It's much less work, so it's natural that she would. Going fishing would be more fun, though, and save money. Akira, you have the right idea. Akira gives a gracious, if slightly stilted, smile. Shizune's praise wasn't her goal, after all. Oh. Isn't the river quite far away? She is not having fun. I don't think it's that far, and I can drive if we have to. I'm okay with it, as long as you catch something. Can you your car fit this many people and a whole lot of fishing gear on top of that? She purses her lips as her fingers sub subly, subly move, counting up the amount of passengers and the required cargo. If you're going to be taking me, Shizu Shizune, <laughs> Shizune, Misha, Lily, Akira, and Hideki, six people. Damn, my car can only take five. Put him in the trunk! <laughs> Actually, if Hideki sat on my lap, it could. Now it's attack on Titan. Okay, I'm not sitting on your lap. Uh, sit on my lap, little boy. Oh god, <laughs> okay, never mind. There's chances that her father's car could be big enough. What, the Fuga? The Fuga? If he doesn't mind us using it, then I guess we have no other choice. Feels kind of bad for forsaking my car, considering I won't have it for much longer. Despite Lily's obstinacy. Oh my god, obstinate- oh my god. <laughs> Obstinacy and Hideki's questions of whether or not we'd prefer to eat first then bet on a fish- on a fish dinner that might fi fail to ever materialize, there's no way to dissuade Akira and Shizune as they agree on the transport plan. Oh boy. Are they wearing seatbelts? I don't think they're wearing seatbelts. Why are you guys not wearing seatbelts? Wait, where's Hideki? Hideki's not in this video. Okay, you guys aren't wearing seatbelts. My expectations of a somewhat relaxing drive through the countryside are fulfilled. Akira's driving is as smooth and peaceful as the surroundings to the point where Misha falls asleep during the trip. Yeah, you can see her. She's freaking drooling. Look at her. She's drooling. I thought this trip would have been rather too slow paced for Shizune's liking, but she seems to genuinely enjoy it, even with Hideki awkwardly sandwiched between her at and the door. 
He, she just keeps looking out of the window and smiling. Oh, Hideki's in between. Okay. Ooh, look at that river. I don't know what that was about. The area surrounding the river is quite beautiful. Akira and Shizune head off for the river so quickly that we have no choice but to chase them. We would be left. We would be left in the dust otherwise. Wait, who's the teams? I can see Hideki and Lily are just humoring their siblings. Lily being the more unenthusiastic of the two. Misha seems so as happy as ever though. Looks like she managed to latch on to some of Shizune and Akira's excitement. As for me, I'd rather eat now, but the thought of fresh fish prepared by Lily is appealing. The river is larger than I'd imagine, although very scenic and peaceful. Other than a small pier, apparently built just to fish off of, this place looks untouched by civilization, and it makes me realize how much greenery I I've seen lately. Look at all the- Mmm, you can smell the grass! She's letting pulls Misha away so that they can explain how to fish to Akira. Lily and Hideki are talking between themselves, so I decided to join the enthusiastic trio. Now it's enthusiastic quad. Hmm, so which one of these lures should I use then? Can I use this cute little one? Wait, 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 wait. This is a contest. We need to pick teams first. Hichan and I will be on one team, of course. Hichan, you're going to be on our team too, won't you? We can be the student council team. Okay. Alright, then that makes it me, Hide me, Hideki, and Lily on the other team. Lily, what should we call ourselves? I don't see why it matters. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> they are on an team no enthusiasm it is. Damn. Yet again. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yet again, Akira's best efforts are rebuffed. Shizune and Misha, on the other hand, have no lack of enthusiasm whatsoever. Frick the butt, Hisao, you can be our point man. Please try hard to catch as many or the biggest fish as possible. What the fuck? Why me? No one's even taught me how to fish yet. We can do that right now. Oh fuck, I read- okay. Well, after a quick tutorial, Shizune immediately tries to draw us into a discussion about the strategy in a tag team fishing competition. Somehow competition doesn't seem particularly, uh, particularly applicable to a sport where you spend hours sitting down and hoping a fish bites a worm. Are you guys basically just drowning the worm? <laughs> it looks like Hideki got stuck with the spare rod, you know, it's just a string tied to a bamboo, bamboo pole, right? That means when deciding the order, you should go against him. Why? Why me? <laughs> you have the late, least experience here, Chan. Yeah, so who's the best here, Shizune? Hideki is your brother. He's probably just a good, just as good. He follows fishes all the time since he lives since he lives closer to a lake. He might even be better. Watching you three makes my head hurt. You know, I'm only hearing two thirds of a conversation, right? What's this about? <laughs> Picking up our. <laughs> Picking our lineup. Akira takes, makes a troubled face. She's getting impatient, which probably isn't too unreasonable. If you're impatient, that only makes me more excited. Oh my god, her face is dazzling. Now I want to play him for higher stakes. What's she saying? Oh, she feels out of the loop. She wants to play for higher stakes. I wouldn't be too hasty. We have beginner's luck twice over on our side, after all. The only way you'll be able to beat that is by catching a whole ocean. Oh, this is a fresh water, fresh water body of water. Oh my god, can you just say a fresh body of water? Oh, oh, pfft. I just said it, okay. You marine biologist. A weird insult delivered with unblink. Why does it keep going to another? A weird insult delivered with unblinking and innocent good cheer. Kira doesn't seem bothered. She laughs it off and she suddenly looks like her usual mischievous self again. I'm glad they get along. So, are we going to pick teams or what? I'm kind of getting, I'm getting kind of hungry. It's how Misha and I are on one team, and Lily, Hideki, and you are on the other, aren't you? I suppose that's the most obvious arrangement. Wouldn't mixing it up a little be more fun, though? Eh? Hmm. You don't want to fish with your own sister? Well, neither of us know how to fish, so putting us, both of us on the same team is kind of. Well, it sounds like I've heard something kind of dangerous. I tried to change the subject before Shizune could turn the incredulous look on her face into more, into anything more. So I guess you and Shizune know each other. Sure we should do. Oh, pff, oh my god, I can't read. I just woke up from a nap too. We go way back, way back, back to the 1950s. I don't know. I hear those like knowing grin at Shizune. It's not until Misha's finished translating what she said to that Shizune gains a troubled face. It looks the same! <laughs> That's all I have to say. It looks the same. Jesus Christ. They didn't even change her face. Look, 
It was saved like a minute ago. They're never gonna change it until later on.